In this video, we will look at G29 Arc of Wars. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. Continuing our look at patterns available to us, in this video we will examine the pattern G29 Arc of Holes. The parameters for G29 are I, J, P, K, and T if required. We can define G29 as follows. On an arc of radius I, whose center is either the current position or a point designated by G72, K number of holes are punched at an increment of angle P, starting from a point at angle J in relation to the x-axis. So let's break this down. I is the radius of the arc. J is the starting angle or angle of the first hole. P is the incremental angle or angle between holes. K is the total number of holes on the arc and T, of course, is the station number. If we look at this example, we see an arc of six round holes with the origin at X20, Y5. The radius of the arc is seven inches. The angle of the first hole is 30 degrees with respect to the X axis, and the angle between holes is 15 degrees. This drawing is another example of the extra calculations required if we wanted to program this using only XY hits. Fortunately, we have G29. So let's write a program for this in the punch sim software. First, we see there's no holes at the origin, so we will be using G72. G72, X20, Y5. G29, I is the radius of the arc, which is 7. J is the angle of the first hole, which is 30 degrees. P is the angle between holes, which is 15 degrees. K is the total number of holes on the arc, which is 6. As we saw in previous videos, when we need to specify a quantity and not a measurement, we never use a decimal point. We'll be using the tool in station 204, which is a 0.5 round. As always, let's end our program with a G50. Now let's simulate our program and see the result. If you want more details on the punch sim software, please visit us at cncsoft.com. We can see our arc of holes has been punched as per our drawing. One thing to note is that the P will determine which direction the holes will be punched. So if we change the P to negative 15 and simulate the program, we see that the starting point is the same, but the arc of holes is now clockwise from the starting point. As with all angles, positive is counterclockwise and negative is clockwise. Because the P is negative 15, 15 degrees is subtracted after every hit. That covers the G29 command. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.